What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about some free all the way up to really expensive hacking, pen testing, and cybersecurity gadgets. So the way this video is going to work today is that I'm going to start by the free cheap devices all the way up to the most expensive ones that I own. I also have videos for each and every single device I have on here. So if you are interested in it, go ahead and check out on my channel. I have a video somewhere explaining or what these devices actually do. But during this video, I'm going to start from the free all the way up to the expensive and it makes do a little brief explanation of each one that I have and do I recommend you getting it. So let's start off right at the bat with the free ones. These are the ones that probably interest people the most. So these are a bootable flash drives. I have plenty of Linux OSs that are on these uh, flash drives and I have I have experimented with Ventoy and Ventoy is a, a bootable flash drive that has a whole bunch of OSs already on it. But for me, I like having dedicated flash drives and bootable flash drives so I know exactly what I want to get into. And probably my favorite one is going to be Tail. So to save you the time, I mean, they're all great. Kali Linux bootable. Uh, I have Parrot OS. I have Void Linux on there. But the top security ones, I would have to say, is Kali and Parrot Security. Um, if you can get into Black Arch, that's a really cool one too. But for me, for being private and stealthy online, I really do like Tails. I have a video on my channel on how to make one of these. And the way this thing works is that you plug this into the computer and you run everything off of your RAM. So that means that when you turn off your computer, it's like it never existed. So it really hides your trail. The other great benefit about Tails is that it has a lot of cybersecurity tools built into it that you need, not a lot of uh, extra stuff that you don't. This is just focused on keeping you private online, it has things like the Tor browser already installed into it, as well as OnionShare. And uh, OnionShare is really good at connecting you to the dark web. It has uh, online chat rooms that you can create and make, as well as uh, dark web websites, as well as sending files to the dark web on a, a encrypted uh, connection. This is really cool um, if you want to stay private online and it's very easy to make. And everything you see here, if you have an old flash drive laying around, you can just turn it into a bootable flash drive and put this ISO image on it. And all this stuff is on my channel already. And you can make these uh, uh, the little devices for free. The thing about these bootable flash drives is that it keeps everything on the flash drive. And uh, you don't have to ruin your computer if you don't want to. So you don't want to install a Linux operating system on your computer. You still want to keep your Windows machine. You can. You just boot off of this. And when you're done, you t unplug it and you just boot into your regular operating system and you're good to go. So highly recommend Tails. Uh, go ahead and check Kali Linux. It's probably the number one cybersecurity pen testing OS out there. And again, it's all free. All right, so the next one's going to be these Raspberry Pi. So these are a little bit more advanced. Um, they're not really plug and play like every, a lot of the other stuff you're going to see later on here. But talk about cheap. This Raspberry uh, Pico. You can turn this into a bad USB. Basically, you plug it into your computer. You can send the payload right away. Doing this project is probably about $7 to buy one of these things. All right, so this is a Raspberry Pi Zero W. So this one I have programmed to be a bad USB, but you can connect to this one over Wi-Fi. So I could plug this into a computer, walk away, and be able to connect to this guy um, remotely and send payloads on my choosing. So this is a really cool device. I have a video on my channel using this as well as making it. So go ahead and check that out. And this one will run you about, I want to say, somewhere between $25 to $40 and I have a mod to it. So this is a battery bank that I plug into it. I just have to re-solder everything. I got to put everything back together because I was doing some experiments with it. And uh, I can basically turn this on and edit the payloads on the go and then plug it into the computer and I'm on my way. So this is a really cool, this is a really good project to flash and learn how to flash and uh, give you um, some experience about getting on, going on GitHub and looking at these community projects and working on it yourself. I highly recommend getting something like this because it's cheap it's and it's very fun. And if you break it, it's not that big of a deal. So I highly recommend stuff like this, the Raspberry Pis. Um, I don't have Raspberry Pi 5 yet. I will in the future. But for, for a beginner, you want some cheap options, this is probably one of the best ones you can get. So look at, really definitely look into this Raspberry Pi Zero W. I had issues with the Pico before, but the Zero W was pretty... Pretty great. As long as you follow the directions online on how to do it on GitHub and, and my, my YouTube video, you should be good to go. So let's move on to the third cool project. So the next thing is going to be a mesh-tastic device. So there's a lot of stuff out there that you can buy, but this one right here is the Helltech V3. And this guy is so easy to set up. There is a web flasher that you can use. I have videos about this on my channel, how to build one of these things. And what Meshtastic is, is an off-grid communication system. Uh, it uses LoRa radio protocol, so you can pretty much reach between one to three miles, depending on your line of sight of these devices. Basically, you connect your phone to it, and another phone's connected to it, and you guys can text between each other off the grid. And some of it, you can either choose encryption if you want, or not use encryption, and uh, the more devices you have of this, you can build a mesh network. Really cool device to get into. Highly recommend these because they could actually save your life if you think about it. If you're 
in a disaster scenario or, or the cell comms go down and uh or they're blocked, or uh, you're hiking in the woods, you have no cell service, you and your buddy have one of these things, and you're able to communicate with one another. So it's a it's really cool doomsday, even tech to have, not just for ethical hacking. Uh, this is a really cool project to look into. I'm going to be diving heavier into this stuff later on in the year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the stuff I recommend the most. I'm going to push it up. So I'm going to separate the things I recommend the most. Tails operating system, mesh-tastic, and we're going to move on through here. So let's go on to the next thing. This is another cool gadget you can buy on Amazon. This is the D-Author V3. This is running you about $40 to $60, depending on sales. Um, this one's modified. I actually modified this during a live stream. Uh, real quick summary, this thing uh, attacks Wi-Fi at 2.4 gigahertz networks. Um, I ended up putting a Wi-Fi 10 on it. But uh, regardless, there's a video on my channel of me attacking a ring doorbell. So basically, I set up a fake scenario where I stole my own package. Uh, I sent the attack to the doorbell, and I was able to steal the package undetected. And that's how dangerous that little gadget like this can be. Now, there's other gadgets out there uh, that I wish I had other than this. I wanted the Wi-Fi Nugget. That guy uh, that created that, Cody, uh, he's so passionate about this kind of stuff. And he really built, like I, my opinion, a better one of these. And I will be picking up one toward the end of the year. Um, but this is a great gadget to start out and do some pen Wi-Fi pen testing with. Uh, again, make sure you do it ethically and uh, and Wi-Fi networks that you own. But very cool gadget. This is probably one of the first gadgets I ever bought that got me into the cybersecurity uh, and the hacking gadgets. Um, and this is a really sentimental one because of that. No! But uh, again, highly recommend this one. So let's move on to the other ones. I don't want to waste too much of your time here. All right, so this one right here is probably one of my favorite gadgets that I have. This is the Diabolic Drive. Um, the, the creator, Omar Youssef, he's very friendly with me. and We talk constantly. Um, he sent me this device when I first started my channel, and I still love it, and I love using it. So this thing is a bad USB, like the other things I had over there, but the cool thing about this is the stealth tech behind it. So this is a little bit ahead, in my opinion, of the Hack 5 Rubber Ducky because of that. Um, I know the Rubber Ducky, they did some uh, updates to it, but having this remote feature as well as it hides itself and it can lie dormant until when you're ready and connect over a Wi-Fi uh, range way further than a lot of these devices can makes this thing stand out to me. It's been an awesome product. It just really is. I, I can vouch for that one. And that's why I want to put this one out here too. So the, my top three so far is a Tails mesh-tastic device and this Diabolic Drive. So let's move on to one that everybody probably knows. And probably the fan favorite, the Flipper Zero. So I have momentum firmware on this guy. Uh, this device is so good because of the community behind it and the additions you can add, the modules you can add to this guy. Uh, this one right here will give you Wi-Fi pen testing capabilities. Uh, go ahead and check out my YouTube video. I have a full description of this device and explanation of things that you can do with it. Um, this is just a multi-tool for hackers and pen testers. You can do so much with this device. I have I just did a video of me cloning credit cards with it. Um, very, very dangerous and really good ethical hacking device. It's very good to learn from. And I broke this thing a couple times and I had to learn. I had to teach myself to fix it and find ways to fix it online. So very good tool to learn. And for $160 to $170, it's not too bad if you were to ever break it. But I've gotten close to the point where I thought I really killed this device, but I was able to bring it back to life. The community behind this is so great. And there's so many cool features in this device that this will continue to grow with you in your journey of cybersecurity and pen testing and hacking gadgets. You can always add stuff to it, modify it, and just just for that alone, it's a really good device. And go ahead and check out my YouTube video explaining that a little bit more. But we're going to leave that there. And we're going to get on to probably one of my favorite um, pen testing devices is the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And this is the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mach 7. Also got a video on my channel diving deep into this. So this will run you about $250 for this guy. This doesn't just do, like, for example, this will attack Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz networks, but this can do 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. Um, this thing is incredible. Um, Hack5 did an amazing job making this device. The web interface on this device is so good. I can't emphasize that enough. Please go check out my YouTube video explaining how great that interface is and how easy it is to use for anybody from no from any skill level. Highly recommend this thing. Uh, this is the most expensive out of all of the tech tools I have here. Um, I highly re you could you can just buy probably the um, standard version here without the added um, adapter there. 
but uh this will run you i think about 150 dollars i believe just for this the device right here um but i would recommend upgrading it so you can do the more pen testing on different gigahertz networks but when I check out that YouTube video, I really recommend getting this device. So I'm gonna put this in front. So again, just to give you a short overview of everything that I said here, a free, easy, the DIY project would be this Tails operating system, bootable flash drive here, mesh-tastic devices, really cool, uh, having an off-grid network and using dark web stuff together. I mean, it just is that whole keeping private and stealthy online. It really fits that vibe right there. This diabolic drive is so good at showing that safety is an illusion, how dangerous leaving a computer un un unintended could be. I mean, of course, the Flipper Zero is great for the sole purpose that uh, it's just an easy to use tool. You don't need to be a tech expert to be dangerous with this thing, but it's also a great tool to learn. And again, for all these tools here, please use them responsibly. I'm not, I don't not, I do not condone any illegal activity. This is all for educational purposes only. And as I grow it in my cybersecurity journey, I will update you about tools and gadgets I buy. Uh, probably by the end of this year, going into next year, you're going to see a lot more radio hacking equipment, as well as this mesh tastic off grid network things and dark web stuff. So that's going to be the the next step for me. I'm going to be buying. Tons, I have tons of all the little gadgets I will will be buying, but I believe that these are probably the top gadgets and i would even if i had the wi-fi nugget i would i would throw that in the mix too but this is a good cheap option as well i mean these are all great options but i think these stick out the most to me in my cybersecurity journey i to check out all these videos on my channel i have a video showing each one in use and how to set these up and use them i really do appreciate the support on this channel i look forward to the future and i'm gonna be getting a whole bunch of new um, cybersecurity gadgets next month so I'll be, I will, so make sure you hit that sub button. I will be making a video on the new gadgets alone and tell you if they're worth buying. But everything you see here is worth buying because uh, I, I, again, I'm still investing as myself. So if I was, if I was, if somebody that only had, can only buy one thing here, I would do just the free stuff first. Calvi Linux, use, learn, get, familiarize yourself with Linux. That's the way to go first. Test those operating systems. You can even use virtual machines. I highly recommend just getting into Linux. Just learn it, touch it. I mean, just just get into it. I, I highly recommend it. Again, my favorite of all of them is Tails. So uh, with that said, that's the best way to start out. And then the MeshTastic is more of a, a off-grid system. So it's not really much of a hacking device to, per se. It's more about keeping private. On the Diabolic Drive, any bad USB is a good start. I mean, you can make one or you can just buy one ready to go, like this one right here. That's also great about this one. I mean, this has a bad USB built into it. Um, you can do uh, Bluetooth bad USB is with this device, as well as just plugging into the computer and having a bad USB. And there's a whole bunch of payloads and scripts you can get from GitHub. Uh, I recommend getting probably this tool first just for the sole purpose of how much it can do and how much you can add to it to make it better as you grow uh and then the wi-fi i mean to get into networking stuff is so cool and i have a networking background this thing it makes networking pen testing and just ethical wi-fi hacking just so easy it's crazy you don't need to be a skilled person to use this device they made it perfect and i hack five giant shout out to you for how well you made that device and uh with that i'm going to wrap up the video again thank you very much for uh, supporting my channel thank you guys for uh sticking with me in my cybersecurity journey uh, i really look forward to the future i got companies reaching out that have a lot of tools that can benefit and help us if you really if you like these types of videos please hit the like button uh, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button so we don't miss any youtube shorts that i i post uh and i go live every friday doing some live pen testing with uh, the community. We have a lot of fun there. We do fundraising there. Um, if you want, you could also uh, send supers, I guess, in the comment sections. And, uh, a lot of the stuff that you see here that I've changed from the previous video that I made is because of the community supporting me and helping me grow. So, and I'm returning it back to you. So go ahead and follow the Discord where we have a nice community there as well. And remember, safety is an illusion. And I'll see you in the next video.